Hey guys, what's going on? Um, uh, I don't really have a whole lot to do, so I thought I would do a, um, a little video about my Halloween collection. It's not very big, but I just figured I might as well just talk about it. I mean, I've already done the Nightmare on Elm Street films and the, um, Friday 13th. You know, I might as well do the Halloween films. So... Alright, first I'll get started with the Anchor Bay DVD of Halloween. This one came out in like 2000. It's the, um, what's his name? Dean Cundy approved version. You know, the one that John Carpenter approves and everything also. It's not the, um, like it's got more of the bluish tint to it or whatever. Personally, I can't really tell much of a difference. I really don't see why there's such a big deal on that. I think both of them look pretty much the same. Maybe I'm just blind, I don't know. So, and then next up I have Halloween, the 25th Anniversary Edition, also from Anchor Bay. Um, this is a really nice little set. Um, comes with two discs and a booklet and it's really a cool pickup. If you can find it, I would recommend it. It's probably the best DVD version available, like in terms of extra features and things like that. Um, yeah, it's just really, really cool. So. Next up is Halloween on Blu-ray, the original, obviously, and um, it looks really good. It's a really cool, it's got like really good picture and sounds good it's just you know it's a, it's a good it's not a huge upgrade but it is a good upgrade from the DVDs so it's it's worth getting if you're a Halloween fan <sighs> I had a VHS of Halloween somewhere but I looked for it just a second ago and I can't find it so I am can't show that obviously Next up is Halloween 2. Um, I like this movie. A lot of people don't seem to really like it, but I do. It's really dark. It's like darker than the first one, and in my opinion, a lot scarier. It's, you know, it's not as good as the original, but it's it's scarier, that's for sure. Um, this DVD kind of sucks because it doesn't have any bonus features, really. It has the theatrical trailer, production notes, cast and filmmakers and that's it you know it's pretty I don't know not that great <laughs> anyway but I heard it's coming out on blu-ray so that should be pretty cool I don't know if I'll have any bonus features or not but I hope it does next up is Halloween 3 season of the witch I really like this movie I think it's underrated um, a lot of people hate it because it has nothing to do with like Michael Myers, but I don't care. I think it works anyway. It's really cool. Tom Atkins is awesome. And yeah, if you if you've steered away from this one just because it doesn't have anything to do with Michael Myers, definitely check it out. It's a good movie. It's really cool. Tom Atkins is really cool in this one. Sorry about that. I had to pick up another movie I forgot about. Anyway, next up is Halloween 4, the Divimax Special Edition from Anchor Bay. This is the re-release of it from Anchor Bay. I, I really, really want to get the 10 of it because I just, I'm kind of a, I don't know, I just really love those Anchor Bay 10s and I only have one and I'd really love to get my hands on a couple more of them. 